one does not simply walk into Mordor. The Land of Shadow. Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Uh, as promised today, I was going to do a uh, another shadow cast on uh, the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power, uh, featuring uh, Adar, who is sort of the evil character we've seen thus far uh, in the in the series, um, in the trailers, and also um, discuss uh, the Southlands. Uh, which was a featurette that came out last week that sort of uh, shows audiences a area of Middle Earth uh, in the Second Age that will be featured in the series. Now, also, I'll just jump right in here and say I think anyone who has seen the Southlands uh, featurette knows that they are discussing Mordor. They don't come out and say it, but it's a pretty obvious, if you look at the two maps, there's a map in the beginning and you look at a map of Mordor, you can sort of see, uh, you can even see uh, Mount Doom there uh, in the upper uh, part of the, of the map. And then uh, it seems to be focused on the area uh, known as Nernan, which is uh, uh, the farmlands that were used in by Sauron uh, with his slaves to feed his armies in Mordor. Now this comes later, of course, in the Third Age, um, but uh, I think that's what this area is. Uh, so it tells us a lot about as many things we have seen and wondered about in the trailers, uh, the castle, the attack on the castle, uh, where Adar is featured, um, a, a Ron Deere, um and uh, several of the other characters all kind of converge in some of these clips and we can see uh, and it's also in the uh, the clip that I showed yesterday the the double feature clip uh, reaction uh, video where I showed um, Sauron's army and I think there's some information there I'm going to be bringing in here uh, if you haven't seen either of those clips uh, you can go here to see them. Um, I'll have the link for one and then the link for the next one right after that. And you can take a peek at them uh, if, you, if you haven't seen them yet. So anyway, let's go ahead and dive in and we'll discuss Adar uh, and his attack on the Southlands. Let's begin this shadow cast with a look at the Southlands featurette. Hundreds of years ago, the Southlanders sided with the wrong side. From the war, where we sided with evil. They've paid for that ever since. They've been outcast. Hardworking, it's, it's what they are, because they don't have much. They sort of had to start from scratch and rebuild. So the elves took it upon themselves to make sure they wouldn't step to the dark side again. So they've been occupying this territory for hundreds of years. When are you people gonna let the past go? Past is with us all. Men did not do this. Warn your people. There is anger towards the current situation with the Southlanders, but there's also hope. Who will stand with me? Encouraging them, their future can be a better future. Who among you will stand and fight? Before I get any further, there are a potential set of spoilers ahead, so be warned. The story threads of Adar, Arendil, Theo, and Bronwyn come together in the Southlands. Amazon has created a series of featurettes titled Stories of the Second Age. They have released three so far, but I think there may be a fourth. They have one on the Southlands, one on Linden, one on Khazad-dûm, and I have provided links to each one of them. Uh, if you look below, uh, you'll see them. Each of these featurettes begin with a map of the region, and in this one, you can clearly see that the Southlands 
lay within the borders of Mordor. Compare these two maps. You can see Anduin. You can see Mount Doom up in the uh, very top there. You can see the Sea of Nern. And you see Poros on the left along the river Anduin. So this is clearly Mordor before the coming of Sauron. It's funny, it seems all along that we have see, been seeing images of Mordor and didn't even know it. The elven fortress and tower we've seen in promo images and in the trailers is located in the Southlands. If you look closely here, you can see that the tower is standing watch over the village. I believe this is the fortress we have seen attacked by the orcs led by Adar. It's interesting that the character Waldridge, who speaks the name of Sauron to Theo, appears to be in league with Adar. It is Waldridge, I think, who is seen walking beside Adar as they march on the tower. This character is definitely a human among orcs. I think Arendil flees the overwhelmed fortress with Bronwyn and Theo, who escape while he himself gets captured by the orcs. One thing I wanted to point out here in this image of the tower that we see from the trailer, if you zoom in, there's a mountain in the background that looks suspiciously like Mount Doom. Could this be Orodruin? Perhaps. So who is Adar? The character appears to be a fallen and tortured elf under the will of Sauron. We have seen his pointy ears, and rumors have stated that he is an elf. The orcs shout Adar, Adar, Adar during the battle as a rallying cry which translates in Sindrin as father, father, father. Interesting. Some rumors claim that Adar may be one of Galadriel's brothers, either Angrod or Agenor, who both died in the War of Wrath. This is a possibility, but it is unlikely and goes against canon. The only way this would work if they were not actually killed, but were taken by the dark powers, perhaps Sauron, and tortured uh, into a ruined elf. Some claim, uh, like the rumor about uh, Adar being uh, one of the brothers of Galadriel, that he has, uh, that he is actually a character, uh, one of the elves from the first age. I personally just don't feel this to be true. I think he is simply a new character. He may well be a tortured and ruined elf. Tolkien himself was conflicted about the origin of the orcs, and his writing reflects this. He couldn't seem to make up his mind what the origin of the orcs was. I don't think he liked the idea that orcs were ruined and tortured elves, even, even though earlier he had stated this. So, it seems to be that this is a question that is still going to be up in the air until we uh, see more of the show. It may be that Adar can be a ruined and tortured elf and narrowly fit within canon. But again, we'll just have to wait and see. There are two additional rumors about Adar that I want to discuss. One states that he has a falling out with Sauron, who does appear in season one. The rumor is that he appears as a frightening and hooded figure. Uh, that's all we know so far. But apparently there may be some good in Adar, uh, and he has not fully fallen yet into evil and under the will of Sauron. We'll just have to wait and see on that one. The second rumor is that Adar has been seen talking with a woman near a large waterfall. Could this be Galadriel? Perhaps if he were one of her brothers? Maybe. What that means exactly is hard to say at this point. So it looks like we'll just have to wait and see. 
I just hope whatever is the origin of Adar that he fits within canon. I would rather he be a completely new and fictional character added to Tolkien's world than to be a existing character who falls totally out of canon. Anyway, again, like I said, we'll just have to wait and see. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, latest shadow cast that featured the Southlands and Adar. Uh, we don't know a lot about either yet uh, and how they're going to be featured in the story, uh, but it's sort of exciting to see uh, some of those characters and try and make some guesses about what uh, they're going to be doing in the series. Um, we're right here on the cusp of the show premiering. Um, I know everybody uh, is excited. Middle Earth fans are excited, but they're also, there's also a good bit of trepidation. Uh, so feel free to uh, post your comments after this video. If you uh, know any more information than I have uh, revealed here, definitely put it in the comment section for everybody else to hear, and uh, or just your ideas about what you think uh, this series is going to be like. Uh, again, before I go, I just want to mention that tomorrow I'm going to have a lore video uh, that will feature uh, the idea of why Sauron chose the land of Mordor uh, to make his assault on uh, Middle-earth. Um, so anyway, I think some of the reasons he did were very obvious, others not so much. So anyway, uh, I'll save all that for tomorrow, uh, and I'll see you guys uh, at the very feet of Mount Doom in the next shadow.